Today I'm sharing dated home stuff you should never get rid of. If you feel that your home is not like the modern, perfect looking home that you see on YouTube and everywhere, I've recently had an epiphany and I think this video is gonna be for you. I personally am tired of all of the like perfect cookie cutter all white homes that I see everywhere and I just feel like they're lacking personality, they're lacking character. We need some character in our lives and the way to do that is with dated things. Hear me out, I've got some things that if you've got them, maybe they're considered dated, maybe you won't find them in these all white homes necessarily, but they are beautiful things that you, if you own them and if you have them in your house, just never get rid of them. The trends come and go, but what I think is you need to embrace the uniqueness of your house, give it some character, and who cares if people say that your things are dated. I'm here to tell you there's no such thing, so let's get started. Okay, the first item is solid wood furniture. If you have this in your home, hang on to it, never get rid of it, never sell it. I'm telling you, I find that it's becoming harder and harder to find high quality solid wood furniture these days. Wood is a timeless material. It is beautiful. It is functional. It adds warmth to the space. It's just something that I think everyone can get on board with. You know, if you've got like a bedroom set, I'll show you my bedroom set. It's many decades old and I still love it. I think that the wood is beautiful. I just love that it's solid wood. This day and age, like it's really hard to go out and buy like furniture that isn't made of like particle board or like, I don't know, hollow wood and engineered stuff. So if you've got the old stuff, hang on to it. I'm even now only looking for like thrifted solid wood things or I go on Facebook Marketplace. I just recently purchased this vintage cabinet. I love it. I got it for $75 on Facebook Marketplace and it's just a good piece of solid wood furniture. It's quite old. It doesn't look old, but it's quite old and I love it. Next is thin plank flooring. If you are paying attention to the flooring trends, you will see that the planks are getting wider and wider. It used to be like two and a half inches. Now it's like five inches, six inches, they're even going up to seven inches with these planks. Now, of course, that's not real wood because you can't get real seven inch wood planks, but you can get engineered wood, you can get LVP, luxury vinyl plank. The wood floors is now trending towards that bigger and wider floor patterns. I think it looks beautiful. However, if you have the thin plank flooring, I'm here to tell you it is not dated, and don't get rid of it. And if it's solid wood, certainly don't get rid of it to go and try to get the thicker, wider planks because it's just not worth it. Just because the wider planks are a little more popular right now, it doesn't make the thinner planks less beautiful. Those are super timeless, super classic. A lot of times you also see the chevron pattern. That is also very classic. A lot of people think that's a trendy pattern, but it's actually a very classic, old school, old style. They used to have it in England and they still do in very old buildings. It's just beautiful. So if you've got those classic thinner wood planks and you think they're dated, they're not. Keep them, love them, and just know that they're very elegant looking and classic. By the way, this whole video is my opinion. So take it with a grain of salt, Feel free to disagree with me. Let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas on things that are dated that you're never going to get rid of because I just have had such an epiphany on these things and I wanted to share it with you because I am tired of people trying to tell us, oh, this is out of style, this is in style, that's not in style. No. Along the lines of wood, I also wanna tell you dated things that are not dated are wood accents around your home. These give such a nice, earthy, warm feeling to your home. Don't get rid of your wood accents. Don't do what I do and accidentally, on purpose, paint them. I will insert the footage, but I essentially painted over this wood part of my stairway. I was going to paint the newel post as well, but as soon as I finished painting the wood in the stairway, I realized what a terrible mistake I've made. I'm considering removing the paint. I know that's ridiculous. I'll be thinking about it. If you've got wood accents in your home, just keep them. Don't paint them over. These look beautiful. Our homes are all just like one color or they're all white and we just want to have different materials and mix it up. 
Apparently in 2024, white appliances are going to be the in style thing. This is a trend. I think it's gonna come and then I think it's gonna go. The trends change so fast that in my opinion, something that's now considered dated is stainless steel appliances. And I completely disagree. I think that stainless steel continues to look beautiful, continues to look elegant, and continues to be in style. So if you have stainless steel appliances and you're thinking that you need to upgrade them to like the black appliances that were popular over the last couple of years or the white appliances that are now going to be becoming popular, just don't. Stick with your stainless steel. It still looks amazing. Wood sash windows. These are super old school, but they are super functional very beautiful. So I recommend if you are thinking of replacing your windows, there's no need. They're great. They're in style. They're not dated. Molding. So molding trends have changed over the years. And one of the things is that the molding is getting a little bit simpler. I think that's the trend that we're seeing. I think that the ornate or complicated molding still looks beautiful. It is never going out of style. It can. It is not dated, even though they're trying to push us towards the simpler trend, it still looks beautiful. And you should, if you've got that molding, you should also consider like what time period your house was built in and what makes sense. But I think that that the beautiful decorative molding is still in style and definitely not something to replace. You may disagree with this one, but it is the shaker style cabinets. I will insert some footage because I have them. I have liked this style for, I mean, pretty much my whole adult life since I've known what this style was. I just don't see it as something that's like, super trendy or something that could be in style and out of style. So I think if you still like that style and you have it in your home or maybe you're building a home and you want to have that style, go for it. I think it's beautiful. I think it's completely classic and timeless. Again, these are all my opinions. Feel free to disagree. When we're saying that things are dated, what does that actually mean? Is it really dated or are we just trying to like pressure people into buying new things? Colored tiles. Again, people just now want the white tiles. Subway tiles are always classic, maybe the marble or different materials, but colored tiles are adorable. They're beautiful. We love them. I have in my kid's bathroom, They I have these cute blue tiles. I mean, they're a little interesting. Even the pink tiles, I think it's very cute. I think if you've got a bathroom with those interesting colored tiles, I would keep them. Persian rugs, again, classic never goes out of style. Rug styles have changed, you know, you see like the color blocking and then you see like the geometric patterns and then you see the floral patterns. Persian is one of those styles that just will never grow old and never go out of style. Also very classic. So over the last, I don't know, five years, you've seen a lot of gold and brass being used in people's homes. And I know that when people were starting to use it, it was one of those things that people were talking about it as like, okay, well, this looks nice now, but in five years, is it really gonna look nice? I'm here to tell you that I think that it is also timeless. I think that as long as you don't overdo it, you know, you don't need to have gold all over your house, but I think gold adds a really good warmth and earthiness to your home, kind of like wood does as well. You wanna mix these materials and mix these metals. I just think it makes your house feel a lot homier, a lot cozier and warmer. I mentioned subway tile when I was talking about tiles, but that is another thing on my list. I have been hearing that subway tile is on its way out. I don't think it's ever gonna go out. It's just white. How can you go wrong with like white, shiny tiles that have been around and being used for years, right? I think subway tile is here to stay. I think it again looks classic. If you've got it and you're thinking of replacing it because maybe there's something new coming along, don't bother. Another dated home item that's actually not dated are the wall radiators and baseboard heaters. Especially if you have an older home, I actually think that these kind of lend themselves to the look of an older home and they complement it really well. And honestly, these are very efficient. They're low profile, so they're not like in your face. If you've got them, don't worry about them. Keep them, they go with your home and lean into them. And if they're not functional, if you've kind of switched over and you don't use them, you could think of turning them into a different design. You know, you can go online on YouTube. They have all kinds of videos on what to do with your non-functional radiators. And there's some pretty cool ideas out there. Thanks so much for watching guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.